Oh! This, oh! Shit. Big. It's pulling drag. Oh my god. You hear that? For this trip, I'm hoping to like spend time with like my friends, be outdoors. So I hope to possibly catch my first steelhead on fly. I'm originally from Hong Kong. I did all my education all the way up to first year of high school in Hong Kong, and I went to Colorado. From there, I did my four years of high school and boarding school, and then I applied to come to Calvin, and that's how I ended up in Michigan. I started fly fishing my freshman year in high school. It's such a big culture in Colorado. All my friends in high school, my roommates, they've been fly fishing for years. My friend taught me how to fly fish. Didn't really want to focus on me catching a fish, even though that's like the easiest way to hook someone on to fly fishing. Um, the first year, I actually didn't catch a single fish, but instead of focusing on landing a fish, I was able to learn all the um, basics of fly fishing to make you a better fly fisherman basically. My friend like taught me and really showed me that fly fishing isn't all about catching a fish but it's like the process of it. I've been told by like my professor and other people at fly shops about chasing after king salmon and steelhead in Michigan. This year I caught my first king salmon. Uh, every person I talk to, that like, I can't wait to catch a king salmon. They're like, that's just a fish. You just gotta get off your list and then they'll be tired of it. But they all say the steelhead is where it's at because they are a little smaller or they could be the same size as king salmon, but they fight a lot harder. Because king salmon, you could say that they're just going up there and they're dying. They don't have much of a will to fight. But a steelhead, yeah, once you hook onto them, they'll shake their heads like crazy. So they jump a lot. That's what everyone tells me. So that's the reason why I'm excited on hooking my first one. So I'm going down to like a 10 pound tippet. So the tippet is so that the fish can't see any of that. So yeah. I'm just tying on a little bit of tippet and then I'll tie on flies. So right now eggs are definitely going to be working because that's what they're eating mainly. Like uh, king salmon's eggs. See those? So the river that I'm fishing today is called the White River because this is like my first time fishing here. Today's game plan would probably be just exploring the river, seeing like what I can see. After I get down there, I should be able to tell like how the conditions are today and the probability of me catching a fish. It would be nice to catch a fish, but I feel like that's just like a cherry on top. Really deep right, it's like eight feet at least. hiding under like structure and there's a lot of like fallen trees and stuff. The only bad point about this spot is like how slow the water's moving. So I'm guessing there's not much fish here, right? So there's not much fish like congregating around here because they're just going past this spot until they find like faster flowing water. 
So yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. So last week we went up to the White River and I camped there too. First time I've ever been there. So a lot of like uncertainty. Uh, there, there wasn't that much rain, so it didn't draw the fish up. So there was very limited amounts of, uh, there were very little amounts of fish up there. So it was a bust and we weren't able to catch anything. Still a great experience though. Never been there, beautiful place. But we're hoping to flip that around today with a more familiar spot. Stop it. You guys caught that? Dude, this thing, I can't stop it. It's not moving. steelhead when they jump you know it's steelhead. but yeah that was an insane experience it still haunts me <laughs> till this day basically that i could have landed such a big fish so suddenly um my barber went down which happened, i thought i was just touching the ground and i set the hook and then immediately i felt all the head shakes and i was not expecting the fight I was going to get. Yeah, I didn't know what I was getting into. I tightened my drag all the way, and the fish still just ran all the way downstream. I think it started into some structure and tangled me and snapped me off. It's nothing new to me where I, I would go out fish, uh, fishing and not catch anything, so I think it just reassured me and showed me how, like, 
I should focus more on the experience of fly fishing and where it brings me instead of chasing after the fish and wanting to catch a fish.